Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video and on my channel. We greatly appreciate that. We have hit the 19,000 subscribers and uh, actually we went way over. So this weekend I'm going to make an announcement for the winner of the free one hour love tower reading, okay? And so every time we hit a milestone like that, I'll be giving away a free one hour phone call tower reading, okay? Just so you know. All right, Virgo, we're gonna take a look at your weekend love messages. So weekend starting from now through, well, I'm making this video May 12th through the 13th, 14th, and the 15th, okay? So Virgo, let's get started. What are the energies? What are the messages? What does Virgo need to know? Please be mindful these messages are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest, okay? And also personal reading links are below this video. Okay, and if I do an extended reading, I will post the link in, below the video here, okay? Let's see, weekend love messages for Virgo. What do we have? Ooh, you've got girl guys seduction what's coming up here attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation and possibly a third party interference okay so ooh la la virgo you got something going on here <clears throat> some flirting possibly attraction so you've got date somebody's going on a date this weekend you're getting asked out on a date maybe asked out on a date this weekend or you're actually going to go on one this weekend Okay, no, you can't see that. I'll try to, I'll try, I'll read it. I'll try to get it brighter for you. Meaning someone new, Virgo, dating, getting back out there, planning and setting a date. My goodness, healthy choices. This is amazing. Awesome. Making healthy choices in love and in life, self-love, self-care, being happier. You know what? This is already amazing. This is already fantastic and amazing. For this weekend, this is exciting. Okay, don't sit on your ass waiting for someone to reach out to you to go on a date. Reach out. Reach out and touch someone if that's the case. Um, put yourself out there, Virgo. Get busy. What are you waiting for? Get busy. Go on dates. Go do things. Go have fun. Um, something tempting. Someone tempting is interested in you. Okay? Um, let me see. Who is this person? Somebody's going to be flirting with you over the weekend. They want to hook up, get together. You know, um, there's someone who's very attracted to you. And this is somebody new. Okay, Virgo, this is somebody new. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. All right, let's see. Who is this person? What is going on? Who is this person for Virgo for this weekend? Okay. Wow. Got the chariot. Amazing. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there's movement here for sure. Somebody picking up in their car or you picking someone up in your car. Um, traveling, maybe it's like a travel date. Somebody's coming in from a distance. They want to, you know, see you. They want to be with you. They want to hook up. Um, this is somebody new. Um, they're willing to travel. They're willing to, however far it is, an hour away, two hours, three hours, four or five Um they could be flying in on a plane. They could be coming in on a car or a train. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, that's cancer energy there. And this is going to be a short reading, just so you know. It's not going to be a full hour. Okay, R&R, &R, little R&R, &R, little rest and relaxation. Maybe um, traveling, going on a vacation. Somebody asks you to go somewhere with them. Um, this is renewal. Wow, you're, you're. this is so good. This is so good. Going to... I'm hearing like, um, what is it? What's the word they're giving me? I see it and I can't think of the word, a B&B, &B, right? Or what else do they call them? Going and staying somewhere, going to, I'm feeling like it's interesting. I'm feeling somebody's got some free time or some time off, okay? They're coming in to see you, okay? Um, because this horse, this chariot is up in the clouds, this is, feels most to me, mostly to me, like somebody's going to be in an airplane. Somebody's flying in or flying out, okay? Going to be in an airplane, flying somewhere. All right, let me see. Somebody might already, somebody might already have plans. These, these plans might already be made or they're going to be getting made. Um, 
Now, either they're coming in or you're going somewhere, there's an actual get together over the weekend, or these plans get made to set a date for going forward, okay? All right, let me see here. I love this healthy choices. Just this energy of being happier, I love this. Okay, it, it feels like a healthy kind of date. So when I say hook up, hooking up, I, I don't mean it in the sense of like, even though there's temptation on, I don't, I'm not feeling like, oh, it's just somebody's coming in for like a one night stand. I don't feel like that. Like somebody wants to hook up with you. They want to see you. They want to get together. Okay, what else? Oh, show me what else. Okay, 10 of wands. Yeah, somebody's finishing whatever kind of heavy burden. For some of you, it's just you're getting like a message or somebody's reaching out. Um, somebody's reaching out. Now it feels like uh, that this person is done whatever laborious work that they have been doing. Okay, because this can be like, I'm so exhausted. I need a, I need a break. I need a little R and R. I'm going to call Virgo. I'm going to reach out to Virgo, um, set a plan, set a date, come in on the weekend or, um, make a date for, you know, when I'm finished, when I'm finished work, um, that I have this R and R this time off to get together. Okay. Yep. Look at that. Three of ones, um, making plans here, expansion, travel, Okay, looking out into the horizon, this is a distance. Okay, so this is somebody that's, yeah, they're, they're kind of far away. Or they want to travel somewhere far away, either with you or to you. All right, let me see. Please, Spirit, show Virgo who this person is. Who is this person? Okay, all right. Three of Cups, the Magician. Okay, so... Let's see. Could be amongst your soul tribe. If you have a group of friends, you might meet this person. Um, this is somebody new, so you might connect with them somehow over the weekend in like a social setting amongst friends or at a celebratory event. If you're attending something like that, that could be online. That could be in real life. Okay. Okay. It's amongst a group of people. And with this magician energy, this feels like someone, they are a creator. Create, that's how I said that, a creator. They are a, a creator. They create. They state. Hmm. This person makes stuff, okay? So when I say make stuff, like they could be a crafter. They could be a creator. They could put chemicals together, like they, they could be a builder, they, they um, you know, anything that's done with the hands to create something or to build something. And so they're kind of giving me like definitions or descriptions of this person. Gemini energy could be another Virgo. Okay. Hmm, this person works in entertainment, could be like, um, they do acts like well, this feels like a juggler to me. Um, now, for some of you, I'm going to say something here, okay? This person is not coming in for a committed relationship. It's just coming in to spend some time together because I feel like this person, I'm going to keep it real here, so don't get your heart like super attached to whoever this person is. Um, they're, they're a bit of, they're, they're dating, okay? They're, they're free. They're not locked into anything or into anyone there's they're not in any kind of committed relationship or anything like that this is just fun frolic uh spending time together uh companionship doing some fun things together okay i'm not seeing yet that this person you know when i look at the three of cups i always feel like the three of cups it's 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 fun it's celebratory it's light and it's simple and it's like surface casual it's not something that's coming in where i feel like this person is deep they might have other dating prospects as well so if you're if you're looking for someone it doesn't mean that it can't turn into anything serious i just feel like maybe because it's somebody new you um 
or if you know them, it just feels like a new thing that's happening with them. It just feels like they're not, it, it's too soon. Um, it's getting to know each other, okay? Um, if this is somebody you knew before, it could be um, getting to know them again, but I just have to give you this, this atmosphere that this person is not coming in and then there's thus far, oh, you guys are going to date and then by the end of the weekend you'll be in an exclusive relationship. No, 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 no. I'm not picking that up just yet. So when I was saying juggler, I mean, this person is kind of like weighing their options still. They're, they're, they, they, they have an intention, you know, to find someone if it's the right person, but they're not locked into anything just yet. Okay. So put on your best shoes. If you're going out dancing or you're, you be on your best, you know, give your best right for yourself. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, this is an opportunity, Virgo, I feel like you should take when this offer comes in, okay? Um, if you're meeting somebody new or connecting with someone new, um, go for it. I'm hearing go for it. Go out and have some fun. Add a little spice to your life. I think that was in yesterday's reading too. Just go out and have a good time. Go have fun. Celebrate. Be happy. Dance. Um, you know, go explore. Travel enjoy okay you do have the six of cups here so this is somebody you could already know so it could be a reconciliation or it could be your past coming back i'll tell you that this person could be from the past for others this is kind of like you have an opportunity to go do something if you have children get a sitter so you can go go away for the weekend or something okay um because some of you like you seriously need it some of you just need a little r and r a little fun um you need to renew get that soul renewal refresh regroup let me see what else is going on here oh wow hmm okay interesting as the story unfolds you have the karma card um, so this is judgment. This is like, um, okay. They're all right. So several messages are coming through and they tend to come through all at one time. So I tend to trip over my words and I got to slow down. Number one, um, you're going to realize when this opportunity comes in for you, like a wake up call, you're going to, you're going to be in this position where you're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to go have fun. I'm going to go enjoy myself. I'm not going to stress. I'm not going to, I'm just going to go have fun. I'm not, um, I'm not going to overthink anything. I'm not going to overanalyze it. I'm going strictly to go on this date just to have fun and enjoy myself. No strings attached energy here. Okay. Let me see here. Also, um, you know, that's twice we have reconciliation. And so I do feel like this person, since we were asking about this person, while this state is occurring, while this situation, whatever you, if you decide to go with this person, this situation, this event, this date, this thing you do together, hold on this thing you do together is actually going to give this person i feel like clarity um because i was saying that like they're gonna make a decision here after spending some time together with you that um you're someone that they they want they want to continue that with you know because i said that this person maybe was dating others and you know kind of juggling and just you know putting their feelers out there and you know maybe trying to make up their mind or figure out who they might be interested in and that kind of energy and i feel like you're going to be the um the chosen one <laughs> now of course at the end of the day virgo it's you know you get to have the choice as well but i feel like this person's going to be kind of like looking at you like Oh, oh, they realize that, wow, Virgo is like, they're going to, oh my gosh, they're going to realize this on um, Monday, the 16th, after the date is over, or after the event, the, the time away together, or what, whatever, even if it's just one night you go out, this person's going to be like, whoa, wait a minute, I had such a great time with Virgo, and... I feel like they're, 
I was asking about this three of cups here because I felt like this person was, you know, kind of spreading themselves thin, dating around and everything, which is fine. You know, everybody has a right to do that. And I get the nine of swords. So I feel like the anxiety of keeping up with these other dates is going to be too much. I feel like they're going to make a decision because that's what this two of pentacles is. Weighing options. Okay. And, um, having two choices here okay um should i or should i not try to pursue virgo and i feel like the answer is going to be yes they're going to try to pursue you i feel like they're not going to be able to maintain um pursuing you and keeping up with others okay so for some of you even if you don't go anywhere with somebody this weekend and plans, it's only plans that are getting made. I still feel like on the 16th, this person's going to be like really having their blinders on and tunnel vision blocking out everyone else or any other options and, and focusing straight, like strictly on you and the connection, which, you know, it's good. Okay. Um, what else do they want to tell me? Yep, travel. Okay, a lot of communication messages are going to start happening over the weekend. Somebody's this person, um, Cupid's arrows, very interested. A lot of romantic, passionate messages coming in from this person. So I'd say phone calls, text messages, emails, whatever it might be. Okay. Oh yeah, effort's definitely gonna get put in. So Virgo, the, it still remains true though. You're gonna wind up having a really good time with this person, but it still remains true. I feel the message in the very beginning. Don't go all in right away and just like still take your time, still keep your yourself open, okay? Um, so that, because you gotta be sure right? Just because somebody wants to be with you doesn't mean they, that you should be with them, right? Just because somebody's interested in you doesn't mean that, you, you know, like you have agency, you have to take a look too and, and figure out after the weekend or after the, or spending time with somebody, if this is something you want to pursue again, you know what I mean? So don't let yourself get, I don't know why I need to say that. I feel like somebody might just get hooked very quickly when someone's interested in them and i know that's not all of you i know all of you don't need to say that and you're like you know i just i just had a really good time but don't don't get yourself in a position where you're like this is the one um just for some reason i don't know why i have to say this but this is what they're saying to me to tell you um don't rush okay don't don't jump in don't put all your eggs in one basket just just yet um, don't go too quick. This person is going to move quick though. They are going to move quick. So that's fine. You know, you, you still have to, um, oops, you still have to make up your own mind, of course. All right. Let me see what the romance angels messages. Okay. Okay. Oh, let your friends help you. Very nice. Okay. Ask for and accept support from others. Okay. So some of you are going to need to connect with your friends over the weekend or you will be um for some reason uh, or you might be seeking them out for some type of support or maybe you have some concerns or something um maybe in regard to this person especially if it's somebody coming back in the past or just somebody new maybe you're just like oh i don't know i gotta talk to my best friend and see or ask for you know just tell them you know somebody might give you some you know advice but i do feel like this this person is going to put in some effort to try to have something here with you okay that ten of cups joy happiness you know i feel like this person's really going to be consistent going forward okay let's see what else this is so amazing okay there's some differences between you and this person i feel like this is another qualifier here qualifier quantifier qualifier um so there's difference in religion maybe religious beliefs moral beliefs um there could be socioeconomic differences it could be geographical distance it could be racial distance ethnic distances between you and this person there could be an age difference um
So it's interesting. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Some of you might um, be hesitant to get together with someone, whoever this person is, because some of you may feel like, you know what, I am not going to sleep with this person because of your spiritual beliefs or your religious beliefs, okay? Um, that's going to play a huge role in this relationship. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. You do what's best for you. It is possible this person, you know, could want to try to hook up with you. Um, but some of you, you know, like you have to maintain your integrity and in your, in your own beliefs. And that's, you know, that's something that you're not, you're like, nah, that's, I'm not doing that with this person. And you can still manage to go out and just have a good time with them. But if you sense that they're crossing a boundary that you don't want them to, um, it feels like this message here is for you to maintain your convictions if that's something that you know is very important to you and for others you know it, it's just an energy where there might be some type of differences here i see like something different between the two of you okay okay it's a very passionate weekend or passionate event that will occur here allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so i feel like this is going to feel amazing this time with this person it's interesting because they didn't give us any court cards so i feel like let me see if i can get some court cards so we can get some kind of idea who this might be hold on one second i'm gonna grab the next we want a court card The first court card that shows up, that's that's the energy that I'm picking up here, that I'll be picking up, that they'll be saying that this is the person. Okay, well, there's you, male or female. Could be another earth sign. Um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, king of cups. Okay, could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. Um, all right, that's it for the court cards. Okay. Um, so again, it's water and earth. Okay. Water and earth. Let's see what your love messages are here for this quickie reading. Love messages. Yeah. I'm not going to do an extended reading on this because I think it's pretty simple and straightforward. I just know there's an opportunity for dating or going out or doing something or making plans or setting a date to get together with someone. I feel like you're, I just get the sense you're going to, you're, you'll be feeling elated, Virgo, you know, like super, super excited about this. And I'm not really sure why. Maybe, maybe some of you haven't had a date in a while and this is a woohoo. And for others, you could just be excited because now you've got something to do because you work your butt off. And then for others, you could be excited that a past person is reaching out. Okay. Um, and for others, it's not a past person. This is just someone who's new coming in that you may or may not know or have may or may not have ever been out on a date with. Okay. So financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay. Okay, self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting, okay? Very important message there. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts, okay? I feel like that's, Virgo, I really feel like that's like, don't go overboard. Don't get obsessed with someone. You have a good time. Don't all automatically go home and say, oh, this is the one, you know, um, chill. <laughs> Please chill. Okay, fate, this is a destined partnership. It very well could be the one. But you need to get like, you need to confirm it. Or maybe some of you, this is your past person. You already know this is the one, but like slow your roll, Virgo. If you're reconnecting with someone from the past, someone that you've been wanting, those of you here who have been wanting that, I feel like your message is slow your roll. Stay cool, stay calm, just chill, relax, enjoy the journey. Just have fun. Don't, don't stress about anything here. Okay, let's get a couple of extra messages here for you. Oh, we've never had this one. 
Oh my goodness, you've got the hourglass, time is of the essence, and you have love, true love and fidelity, okay? So these are very important messages here for you for the weekend. <laughs> slow your roll. You know that hourglass goes very slow. Take your time, okay? We. It feels like the message is if you want true love, Fidelity is very important, okay? So if you're already in some kind of relationship or something, or you have something else going on in your life um, with another person, but that's kind of coming to an end. And I feel like, um, hold off, they're saying. Just wait. Just wait um, before going physical with anybody. Okay, I'm not trying to be your big sister or your mom here. Um, I think you know how to handle your business. But I, the, the message is coming in here. Um, time is everything. Time is going to... Time is, gonna, time is going to infuse a relationship with love, not physical intimacy too quick. Okay, because that's kind of like a quick... Uh, satisfaction there and then when that's done it's like ugh, you want to you want love burns on the coals very slowly for love to grow okay um, now I'm not saying don't flirt I'm not saying go in like a cold freaking fish I mean what the hell's the matter with you no you, you don't want to I mean you want to be flirtatious you want to have fun and be charming and that's your usual self Virgo so that's fine you know um, just um, slow your roll that's what I mean I feel like love is coming here. This is true love. There's something something very beautiful, magical happening here over this weekend. <laughs> or, you know, whether it's, like I said, whether you guys are actually getting together or if you're going to be making plans, okay? So when I called out earth and water, I just want you to know, um, you know, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Like I said, it doesn't have to be that sign, but... Whoever's coming through is very practical, down to earth, um, very resourceful, and um, has self restraint, quite reserved, and also very deep emotions and very deep feelings. Okay, quite wise, right? Professor like kind of an attitude, you know, um, and and can be a little moody. You know, all up in the feels, that kind of energy, um, very emotional, not really. I mean, there's passion here, but um, it's not like fiery passion. It's not like um, the Knight of Wands energy. It's just real. It's kind of subdued, but um, but nice and emotional. And, it, and it, I just get a sense it'll feel good. It'll just be very, just very feel good energy. Um, let's get some Chinese signs to see if we have any more information on what this person's sign is. Okay, so like I said, I mean, this person could have like um, Venus in a water sign, um, but they could be like a fire sign, or they could have Earth in their moon, and they could be an air sign. Okay, so it just depends. Well, I love it when my light goes out. Do you guys like my setup? I hope you like my setup. I'm trying to incorporate... Um, not really corporate, but just make it a little more enjoyable to look at. All right, Chinese sign. Chinese sign for Virgo. Who is this person? All right, look. Again, the ever-elusive dragon, which the dragon, yeah, I guess can be elusive. So as always, a dragon. So this could be you. This could be the person that's coming in, or it could be both, okay? All right, we've got the year of the dragon, year of the horse. We have year of the snake. We have year of the rat. Okay, year of the dog. We have year of the rooster. Snake twice. Horse twice. T dragon twice. Oh my goodness. Rat twice. What the heck? We have year of the ox and year of the tiger. Okay. And so now if that doesn't resonate with you or if you meet this person, they're none of that Chinese sign, don't worry about it. It's it's not like written in stone. Some of you might be resonating with that. Maybe you know who this person is um, and others might just be like, mm, no, I don't know. And I really don't care. I just want to go out and have a good time. And you know what, you guys, I keep I took my charms um, with me out 
the other day when I was doing some readings and I keep forgetting to bring them back in with me here. So I am not going to, I'm not going to use them, but I am going to give you a couple of um, cards that I've never used here before. And um, these are not safe for work. So if you're at work listening to this video, um, put your headphones in. <clears throat> the, the, there's no pictures that are bad. It's just the audio could be, could be. Okay. So I'm talking about this weekend. Let's see. What are the messages here for this weekend? Okay. All right. <laughs> How about you just look at the, look at the picture so I don't have to say it. <laughs> okay. This is, um, a uh, very passionate, fun weekend. It looks like some of you are going to have, I want to eat off your body. Okay. <laughs> your scent turns me on. Ooh, la la Virgo. Ooh, la la. Okay. I feel like this is the energy that's going to be playing out between two people. <laughs> Don't speak. Let your fingers do the talking. <laughs> what does that mean? Stop sending me mixed signals. Do you want me? Somebody's going to say that to you. Some of you are just be like, no, nope, not interested. And that's actually going to um, light that fire either even stronger, <laughs> cause a yearning. I'm going to do one more. Do you know that you are incredibly sexy? I feel like two people are going to be feeling this way. If it's not you about them, this person's feeling it about you, Virgo. Oh my goodness. Or they will be. I mean, that's fire. That is fire. All right, I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna be done. So I'm gonna leave your mess. Oh wait, 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 wait. I just wanna get one message here for this, this moon, this full moon that's coming up here. I'm just, let me get one card for the full moon. Okay. A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay, I don't know what exactly that means or what's going on, um, moon and cancer, full moon and cancer. So like I said, I don't know if the moon is in, I have no freaking clue what planet the moon is in this week, this, the, at the end of the weekend, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's about emotions. Okay. It's about the cancer energy. It's about that deep feeling emotion. Um, so if, if there's, some kind of personal issue that arrives or something within you or another person, it's going to get resolved. Okay. And this weekend is, is going to show it, uh, whatever it is, whatever it is. All right, Virgo, that's your reading. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and, um, I will see you all back here in just a few days. And, uh, yeah. Um, I also will be, um, announcing the winner over the weekend for um, everyone that posts in the community section for that free reading. So I will see you then. Have a great one. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.